It's weird to be riding without that grinding noise under me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to prologue of stage two of virtual etap Tour de France. Uh, today we are going to do the Greater London Flat Route which coincidentally is the one I totally failed last week. So this is my opportunity to redo it. However, I've done crazy effort on Saturday on Mountain Mesh. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. So I'm not sure what my form will be today. I don't have any crazy plans or big expectations. So once again, if you are riding, good luck. If you like what I do, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next race. Let's give some ride-ons right from the start. Let's race smartly today. I don't think that what I did last week was sustainable. I've also did a proper warm-up today. I used the GP Lamas protocol. <laughs> I don't do that very often, so I'm interested how it will influence my ride. In retrospect, I actually think it was pretty good. Uh, I was always a little afraid that if I would do any structured warm-up, it would tire me out before the race. But the truth is, I didn't have that feeling of being overwhelmed by the intensity from the start of the race. So I guess the warm-up did its thing. We already have some guys pushing the power. Yeah, what I really tried to do in this race was to pace differently, to really not shoot all the bullets from the start, but to save energy during the race in order to be able to do a really strong finish. Ooh. My shifting is super sensitive. Not shifting. Uh the steering. Probably I'm not just used to it anymore after the Zwift games that had it disabled. My strategy for this race was to stay in the second best group. I expected that in the first group there will be A riders mainly, but I thought that maybe in the second best group there might be a mix of Bs and Cs, and that expectation proved correct in the end. Should we catch those guys? For a moment it looked like the front group was slowing down, so I felt there was an opportunity to gauge them, but as quickly as they slow down, they increase the power again. And just out of interest, after the race I've checked what kind of riders were in the front group and there were A pluses and A riders, so it was definitely correct decision for me to not stick with them because 
it would follow a fairly similar scenario to last week. I've put some wax on my chain. <laughs> it's weird to be riding without that grinding noise under me. Yeah, bike maintenance isn't something I'm really good at. Uh, I've put off the lubing up my chain for long enough. And prior to this race, my chain was actually grinding on the cogs. And after I waxed it, it was buttery smooth. So I probably were losing even some watts by the fact that my chain wasn't maintained properly. Thank you, Rickers. At this point, I realized that this race wouldn't result in uh, my power best, but I also realized that might not be the goal of these races, actually. I am looking to enjoy them, to have some fun, and I might do actually some side testing of the power duration curve during the training, during the workouts, instead of the races. That guy has a nice name. Right at this point, I would say my uh, model, FTP model, has a pretty good data when it comes to efforts around 20 minutes to 30 minutes, maybe. But it is quite lacking in the one to five minutes area because there isn't a lot of times where I do really all out efforts in this range. So that's something I might test in the future workouts. That guy flew by like a rocket. So as I said, this is the prologue of the stage two of the etap. On Friday, I will be doing the main stage, which is going to be the London pretzel, 56K. Obviously, since that race will be longer, I will have more opportunities to talk during the ride because it won't be as exhausting. So if you have anything you would like to ask me or any topic you would like to hear about, let me know in the comments and I will talk about it. So far, it's been way more chilled than the ride in the past week. It's probably because I'm not riding with the front group this time. If the goal of this race for me was actually to do power PR, this group would be too slow because at this point, we were riding around 200 to 220 watts.
Do I get another boost? Yep. Good. And the draft. So it should be probably good to keep until finish. I don't believe there is another uh, waypoint or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, as I was saying, this would be uh, too slow of an effort to be uh, challenging my power PR. But as I said, that wasn't the goal for this race. I wanted to finish as well as possible. And that included A, finishing strong and B, finishing at as good of a place as possible. And if I followed the first group uh, from the start, I very likely would be dropped and would end up at the same spot I ended up right now, but with way more effort. So by this point of view, this was way better strategy. Mm. Yeah, here I wanted to demonstrate the power of steering and I really wanted to cut the corner sharp. Does the sound I made, but it didn't work for some reason, so I just looked silly in the end. Are we chasing? It only occurred to me during reviewing this footage that this might have been quite a good opportunity for me to place an attack onto the group I was riding in because there was a leeway in the power output we did so Maybe challenging the group a little bit in the future might be actually a good and fun thing to do. That's one of the takeaways I took from this race, that I probably didn't need to stay in the back of the group for the whole time, but I could have challenged it a little bit.
last week I've been at a crazy bad spot in here already. That's the difference between racing smartly and racing for the power PR. And this right here would be probably another opportunity to place an attack. The power was around 200, 210, 220 watts. So the pace was quite comfortable and I was dragged into the comfort a little too much. I should have attacked here and see how the group would respond. I'm trying to squeeze behind them for the drafting. It's way more comfortable to be riding when I have freshly waxed chain. I should have done that probably like two weeks ago, maybe even more. I tried a different drinking strategy in this race since it was very short. I only had water this time. Uh, in the previous races, I've always had a sports drink. Uh, I might actually go this route more often. I don't think you need the extra calories for short efforts like this. Mm -hmm. If I had to take a guess, I would say this group is a mix of B and C riders. And after the race I checked and it was exactly the case. The group I finished in, which was this group, uh, was about two, maybe three C riders, including me, and the rest was Bs. So my expectation at this point was correct. This was the point of the race where the periodic attacks started, or probably I shouldn't have said attacks, but definitely increases in power. My goal here was to cover all of the attacks and depending on how will the group go by the end of the race to either stay with the group until the finishing sprint or place an attack on my own like one to two kilometers from the finish line.
So as you can see from the power chart at the bottom, the pace of the group really started to ramp up. At one point, actually, there was a guy who went into a breakaway. I didn't cover it, but I probably should have. Here it looked like the front two guys might be getting away, so I did what was in my power to stay with them. And the group quickly rejoined. This exit of the tunnel would have been an excellent opportunity to attack the group again, but really at this point I was riding around my threshold, so I don't think there would be a lot of power in my legs to do that breakaway. And as you can see, there is the guy who broke away from the group and I don't know, it might have been possible to chase him, uh, but he really flew by and he was gone very quickly. At this point the effort level was pretty high so it looked like uh, the final standings would come down to the final sprint, which isn't something that I mind too much because sprinting is one of my better skills, but still it is kind of a lottery uh, who's around you, how good the other riders are. So in a small while, uh, the final turn of this race will come up. I am going to use the draft power up and we will arrive at the finishing sprint. The final sprint was initiated quite soon, which caught me by surprise a little bit. It was about 350 meters till the finish line. I usually tend to initiate the sprint around 250 meters till the finish line. But I managed to do fairly well in the sprint and all in all, I think that was a pretty well executed race. 
So that's going to be it for this race. Enjoy the finishing sprint. And I'll see you uh, in the next race, which is going to be the London Pretzel. See ya. <laughs> that was good.